Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the snap tools in Medibang Paint. The snap tools are a set of different rulers and shape type tools that you can use to help you make shapes or straight lines in Medibang. So let's get started. So the snap tools are this bar right up here. Off is the automatic setting, which means that nothing is changing. And then you have these five other settings here. I'm going to go through them today. Firstly, you have this one, which is a horizontal line ruler. It only lets you draw lines on this specific angle, no matter how you try to draw. And you can go from one side or the other. This is really helpful for making certain patterns, like on clothing or on certain parts of buildings. It has a grid on this. You would expect it to be a grid ruler. But this one just does a up and down straight ruler. It also has this sideways straight ruler, but it does not change the shape of the squares that you can make with this or anything. It doesn't make the grid for you, it just sets you up so that you could probably do it if you wanted to. It's a pretty good ruler, again for patterns and backgrounds and stuff. This next one is the next snap, but this one doesn't have any red lines to show what it's like. Right here, it essentially just makes a bunch of angled lines from one area. The setup area is this corner up here, I think. And whatever you draw will be on an angle that does point to or from that area. This next snap is once again a visible one. It's the second to last one, and you can actually see this one right here. If you want to move it, just click Move Snap. And then you have the opportunity to move this red dot wherever you want, and the red dot will be the center. I'll just move it right to the middle. This one is similar to the last one, where it just all goes into the center. So anything you draw will be coming away from wherever you've placed this red dot. I really like this one for certain glowy effects, or for some patterns in jewelry. It is a little bit hard to get the angle that you want sometimes, but overall this is a good snap tool. Then this last snap tool is a circle tool. You can move it around by holding in the red area, and you can make it smaller or larger by using this corner circle right here and pulling it in or out. Then you can use the other two to manipulate the dimensions of it. You can make it wider or taller or whatever you want to do. You can also flip it around if you want to by using these flip buttons right here. But this doesn't really do much when it's a almost perfect circle. And then to actually use it, you would just go somewhere and it would automatically make that a circle for you. It should be noted that you cannot use this outside of the tool's boundary. You can only draw on this length setup for you. So if you wanted to try and draw something smaller than that without moving it or just drawing anywhere that wasn't that specific line, it would not work. For example, you cannot draw outside of the boundary, I'm trying here and nothing comes up, and you cannot draw inside this boundary without it being on this specific line. It is a good circle tool though, I personally really like it. It feels a lot different from most circle tools that you would get, but it's definitely not a bad one. You can definitely make some really nice patterns with this and just do anything that you would usually use a circle tool for. Then to get rid of it, you would press the X. That automatically brings you back to the snap off, and that is all of the snap tools. You can move the snap on any of these when you're on there, or you can save them, which I think just saves the settings that you have there with them. And overall, they're just pretty good tools. I like them, and I like how they have more of a menu kind of feel to them, so you can't just accidentally get rid of it as easily. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!